Today is Thursday, the 17th of uh, November. It's the penultimate day. Tomorrow the COP ends. Uh, there are some final negotiations still going on on the CMA, but more or less m much of the work has already been completed. It's one of the fastest COPs we've seen. Uh, normally we go to the very last minute, but in this case many of the issues have been resolved, which is a good sign. I'm going to talk today about an initiative or several initiatives that we've been involved in two of which have gone very fast in the last 24 or 48 hours. One of them is a networking of universities from developed and developing countries. We held a, a side event in Qadi Ayad University a few days ago on Tuesday and then since then this morning we did another one with the Ringo uh, constituency in the UNFCC Blue Zone and we got a tremendous amount of support. So we are now going to launch this network of uh, universities and think tanks from both North and South to engage with the UNFCC, uh, particularly the Paris Agreement, Article 11 on capacity building, which focuses on long-term capacity building and not just short-term consultant-driven uh, capacity building. So we now have a very good initiative. Uh, we've got a couple of partners, Kadi Hayat University, the Independent University of Bangladesh, and possibly Brown University and the Colorado State University in the US as well. So that networking of universities, which is both North and South, is going forward. At the same time, we have been talking to a smaller number of uh, universities from least developed countries, and we now have the University of Senegal, the University of Gambia, University in Nepal, uh, Makarere University in Uganda, Sokoine University in Tanzania, and the University of Khartoum in Sudan. And we are going to form a consortium of 10 universities from least developed countries. So these are very specifically in the poorest countries in the world and also very specifically focusing on adaptation and not mitigation. And then within adaptation, we will focus on community-based adaptation, working with the most vulnerable communities. Uh, we have got the country, the universities and uh, people to buy into it. <coughs> we'll go forward and write a, a concept note on this. In January in Bangladesh, we hope to convene the whole group, all, of, all 10 of them. We will do some more planning and uh, discuss with others to, for collaboration. And then in June, during the community-based adaptation 11th conference that will be placed uh, happening in Kampala, hosted by uh, Makarere University, we will announce the activities of the consortium. So things are moving very fast, but in a very positive direction. <coughs> and on the UNFCC front, as of tonight, we do have the Paris Committee on Capacity Building. They will be having their first meeting in May. So we will try and do both our initiatives, the University Network and the LDC University uh, Consortium. We're calling it LDC Universities Consortium on Climate Change, or LUC for short, uh, L-U-Triple-C. And both of these initiatives should be up and running by the time the Paris Committee meets in May in Bonn.